All right, um, we are going to be learning about geometric shapes today. Lesson two, geometric shapes. Lesson two introduces geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are precise shapes that can be described using mathematical formulas and are recognized by their names. Simple geometric shapes and circles are called circles, squares, triangles, and rectangles. Have you ever seen a design like the one in this book? ¿Alguna vez han visto un diseño como el que está en este libro? So today you're going to learn how to identify geometric shapes by their name, and then you're going to be able to find them in some artwork. You're also going to get a chance to, if you want to, to create a design using geometric shapes. And you're also going to be able to tell um, how artists use geometric shapes to create their artwork. Let's move to the next page, shall we? Let's look at these two shapes in these works of art. They're called, they have, they're made out of geometric shapes, okay? Many shapes are repeated in this design. Let's look at it closely. Muchas figuras se repiten en este diseño. Vamos a observarlo detalladamente. Some works of art have shapes and designs instead of everyday objects like people or places. You can look at your clothes. Do you see a square in your clothes? Do you have a triangle maybe or a circle or maybe a rectangle? You may not have one on today, but I'm sure you guys have some shirts that look like that. So let's study these paintings or these pictures. Let's look at this one right here. Do you know the names of any geometric shapes that you see? This is by an artist named Auguste Urbine. And let's look at some of the shapes that we see on here. What shapes do you see? Okay, hold on, I'll ask you in just a minute. That's called composition. This one's called the gauged pie by Wayne Thiebaud. Do you see any geometric shapes in this picture? I see a glass case and wonder what this shape is. I see, what shape is the plate? What shape is the pie? Okay, let's go back and check it out. So using geometric shapes, boys and girls, you know what a geometric shape is. And if you don't, we're gonna go over it today. This is called a what? Circle, correct. That is a red circle. This one is what? Yes, you're right, a square, a blue square. And this one you're thinking is a triangle, a green triangle. And this one right here is a purple rectangle. Yes, boys and girls, a purple rectangle. Let's find some geometric shapes around us. Vamos a buscar algunas figuras geométricas a nuestro alrededor. Okay, if you could take turns with somebody in your house, your mom or someone, and you could take turns finding different shapes and rectangles all around you, you could look around your house right now and I bet you you could find all kinds of different shapes. You can, but you don't have to. Draw the shapes that you find on your paper if you want to. If not, just look around the room. This is just exercise. Think about the different kinds of geometric shapes that this student used. What are your favorite geometric shapes? You could cut out some shapes if you have some scissors at home and you could make something and you could create a picture. Art class is just like playing with blocks or just like playing with Legos. When you play with blocks, you put them together to make things. Same thing with Legos. You put them together to make something. 
Okay, so in art class, you do the same thing, except you just take paper and you cut up different shapes, just like this right here. If you want to, you could do that for you, not for you don't have to turn it for a grade, but if you have art supplies at home, you could certainly do this if you wanted to by cutting out different shapes and then gluing the ones you like the best onto another sheet of paper. Okay, how many different shapes did you use? What are the names of the shapes you might use? Did you repeat any shapes? How did you arrange them? And which shapes do you like the best in your arrangement? If you do that, you could definitely ask yourself these questions or be able to prepare yourself to answer what these are questions. What the names of the geometric shapes you learned about? Mm -hmm. So if you did this artwork and took it to your mom, she's going to ask you, Ooh, what is this all about? What is this? Why did you arrange it this way or that way? So always be able to talk about your work so think about what you do before you do it and instead of just cutting something out and gluing it down think about where you put why, why you put it where it is and why did you choose the colors that you chose okay you've completed lesson two what you need to do now is when you have the time you've got several days to go on to um the portfolio and to do your nearpod lesson on this the Nearpod lesson is going to have some things where you can draw some examples and then take a little quiz at the end to see if you understood what was in the video and what was on the lesson. Have a great day.